Today, I want to talk to you about something very powerful. Not money, not success, not even business. I want to talk to you about mathematics, yes. That subject many of us feared in school. That subject we thought belonged only to the nerds and geniuses with thick glasses. That subject, some people say, is not for everyone. Let me tell you today, you don't have to be born a genius to be a good mathematician. You don't need to be Einstein or have a calculator built into your brain. You only need three things, curiosity, consistency, and courage. That's right, the three C's. And let me share with you how these will transform you into a powerful problem solver and thinker. When people hear the word mathematics, most of them think of complex formulas, scary symbols, or long equations. But let me tell you a secret. Mathematics is not about numbers. It's about thinking. It's about solving problems, understanding patterns, and finding logic in the chaos. When I was in school, I struggled with math. Not because I was stupid, but because I didn't understand why we were doing it. The teachers gave formulas, but not purpose. They gave numbers, but not meaning. And that's where many students fail. They learn to memorize, not to understand. A good mathematician is not someone who remembers every formula. A good mathematician is someone who understands the logic behind the formula. Ask why more than how. Ask what does this mean more than how do I solve it. When you approach math with curiosity instead of fear, it opens up like a beautiful puzzle. Do you know what makes you powerful in life? It's not money, connections, or luck. It's your ability to solve problems. And that's what mathematics trains you for, to fall in love with problems. Every time you look at a math problem, don't run away. Smile at it. It's not your enemy. It's your teacher. It's your friend. And like every friend, sometimes it will challenge you, frustrate you, and make you cry. But when you finally figure it out, you feel like a superhero. You know what I always say? Don't avoid the difficult problems. Solve one each day and your life will change. Imagine if you solve one math problem every day for a year. That's 365 lessons in patience, logic, creativity, and discipline. You are not just getting better at math. You are training your brain to become unstoppable. Some people think you either have it or you don't. They say, oh, I'm just not a math person. My friend, let me tell you, there's no such thing as a math person. There's only a practice person. You know how musicians practice every day? They don't just pick up a guitar and perform in front of a stadium. No, they repeat scales, train their fingers, learn the rhythm. It's the same with mathematics. You become good at math by practicing bit by bit every single day. Start with the basics, practice mental math, play with puzzles, solve simple equations, and slowly your brain starts getting sharper. Let me tell you something funny. In school, I was terrible at math. And today people ask me, Jack Ma, how did you build Alibaba? How did you manage all the data, the money, the logistics? And I laugh and say, I became a businessman, but math became my silent partner. I didn't love math then, but I learned to respect it, and it never betrayed me. Have you ever watched a child explore the world? It's a magical thing. Children ask endless questions. Why is the sky blue? Why do we sleep? What happens if I mix sugar with sand? And yes, even, why does one plus one answer two? They are not trying to pass an exam. They are driven by a natural hunger to understand. That curiosity is what makes children such fast learners. Sadly, as we grow older, we often stop asking questions. Society teaches us that being wrong is embarrassing, that we must always know the answer. And that is where true learning starts to die. To become a good mathematician, you must bring back that childlike curiosity. Don't just accept that a formula works. Ask why it works. Don't just memorize the steps. Understand the logic behind them. Good mathematicians don't memorize. They explore. They experiment. They play with ideas the same way a child plays with toys. Let me give you an example. Did you know honeybees build hexagon-shaped hives because it's the most efficient way to store honey using the least material? That's math in nature. Or consider snowflakes. Why do they have six arms? Again, mathematics. You see, math isn't just in textbooks. It's written into the fabric of the universe. A curious mind doesn't fear not knowing it gets excited by it. A good question is more valuable than a quick answer. So ask those strange questions. Be weird. Be wild. Be fearless in your wonder. The best mathematicians aren't the ones who always get the answer right. They're the ones who keep asking questions that others are too afraid or too tired to ask. So I ask you now, are you curious enough to wonder beyond the surface? If yes, you're already thinking like a true mathematician. 
Now, I know what you're thinking. Math and humor. Jack, are you serious? Yes, very serious. Humor is one of the best ways to learn. If you can laugh at your mistakes, if you can enjoy the confusion, you are already better than 90% of people who give up. Let me tell you a story. Once a student came to me and said, Jack, I keep getting zero in my math test. I asked why. He said, because the teacher says I never show my working. I said, maybe your working is too silent like a monk. He laughed. And that's the thing. Don't take yourself too seriously. You are learning. You are growing. You are building a brain that will one day change the world. Laugh at your errors. Learn from them and keep going. The best way to know that you understand something is to try and teach it to someone else. Want to know if you're a good mathematician? Explain a problem to a 10-year-old. If you can simplify complex ideas, congratulations. You are not just a student. You are a master. When I was building my team in Alibaba, I didn't look for people with the highest marks. I looked for people who could explain ideas clearly, think logically, and work with others. And most of those people, they had one thing in common. They loved to teach what they knew. So teach others. Be a mentor. Help a friend who's struggling. In helping them, you help yourself too. We live in the most connected, information-rich era in human history. If you want to become a good mathematician, you no longer need to wait for a classroom, a teacher, or a textbook. You've got a powerful world of tools right in your hands. Your smartphone, your laptop, your internet connection. Platforms like YouTube, Khan Academy, Brilliant.org, and even TikTok have math geniuses breaking down tough concepts into bite-sized, engaging lessons. There's literally no excuse to stay stuck. You can find animated visualizations that explain complex equations in ways textbooks never could. You can use AI tutors, calculators, step-by-step -step solvers, or apps that scan your handwritten problems and show you detailed solutions. Some apps can even gamify math so you feel like you're playing, not studying. And that's the beauty of modern learning. It meets you wherever you are. But here's my warning. Don't become a passive consumer. Watching someone solve a math problem is not the same as solving it yourself. It's like watching someone do push-ups and expecting your muscles to grow. Doesn't work like that. Technology is a tool, not a replacement for effort. It's a bicycle. It can help you go faster, but you still have to pedal. Use calculators to check your work, but not before you've tried it on your own. Use solvers to learn the steps, but not as a shortcut to skip the learning. Be disciplined with your screen time. Don't just scroll study. If you treat technology as a tutor, not a crutch, it can dramatically accelerate your progress. So use it smartly, wisely, and consistently. In the hands of a curious learner, technology is not a distraction. It's a superpower. You want to be a good mathematician? Learn to connect math with life. Budgeting your money, that's math. Planning your time, that's math. Calculating how much data your phone uses, that's math. Even love is math. You send 10 messages and get only one reply. Your response rate is 10%. You have to improve your game. So don't see math as something that lives only in a textbook. It's part of your daily life. When you start to see it that way, you'll realize you've been a mathematician all along. Many people wait to feel motivated to study. Let me tell you something. Motivation is a lie. Discipline is truth. If you want to be a good mathematician, don't wait for perfect timing. Create a routine. Solve one problem before breakfast. Review one concept before bed. Make math part of your lifestyle, not just your school life. The best mathematicians are not the most motivated. They are the most disciplined. Finally, don't compare yourself with others. Some people will get it fast. Some will take time. But remember this, you're not in a race, you're in a journey. Mathematics is not just a subject, it's a life skill. It's a way to train your brain to see patterns, to become more logical, and to solve bigger problems in the world. If you keep going, keep solving, keep learning, you won't just be a good mathematician, you'll be a good thinker. And the world doesn't just need mathematicians, the world needs thinkers. So, my friends, if I, Jack Ma, a guy who failed his math exams more than once, can build one of the biggest companies in the world, what's stopping you? Be curious. Be disciplined. Be fearless. Laugh at your mistakes. Learn from your failures. And solve one problem each day, not just in math, but in life. Because a good mathematician is not someone who knows all the answers. It's someone who never stops asking good questions. Thank you.